Hi, this is Darren from Sim Nation. A couple people asked me to do a quick, quick recap video for WWPF. If you remember at the last video, we were right at week 17. Uh, and we had some drama around the playoffs. So we had, was it going to be Baltimore or Houston in the AFC taking the final seed? Who would win the uh, NFC West? Uh, who would be the wildcard teams. Uh, understanding Detroit was in, Detroit is Brian, uh, but would Rick make it in with Minnesota or would it be the loser of the Seattle-San Francisco game? Uh, so for Rick, all he had to do was win and he was in, uh, which would knock out <coughs> either San Francisco, Seattle, whichever one lost the game. And of course, whoever won their head-to-head would be the team that would make it into the playoffs regardless as the West Division winner. Uh, for Baltimore, they had to beat New England to make it in. Um, and then Houston just had to win and hope for a Baltimore loss. Um, and of course, they were playing Tennessee. So uh, where we're at now is, of course, week uh, 17 has run. Has run. Baltimore beat New England. Um, and to make it in, and they won 38-31. Uh, some last-minute heroics uh, will they scored um, essentially 10 points in the final minute, two minutes, uh, to win mostly on the arm of James Long, who is the rookie quarterback who's had a really good year this year. Uh, so what that meant for, um, unfortunately, for JP at Houston it didn't matter. Uh, once Baltimore won, they were in as the last uh, at-large team in the playoffs, and they would get to play New England again. Um, versus uh, Jacksonville would play New York, and of course Oakland and Pittsburgh both enjoyed a bye. Uh, on the flip side, uh, Minnesota had to beat Green Bay. If they beat Green Bay, they were in regardless of what happened uh, with San Francisco or Seattle. Um, and if they won but Detroit lost, then they would come in as the five seed, whereas Detroit would come in as the six seed. I think I got that right. The two at large, the two wild card teams, Minnesota would be the higher ranked of the two. Uh, and Detroit, of course, had to play Oakland, and Oakland beat them. Uh, so for Minnesota and Rick, um, who's had a really good year, by the way, uh, they beat the Packers 34-10. to um, Not a big shock, though, uh, given that the um, Vikings are definitely the better of the two teams. The shock probably is how he did it, which was through the joint running backs of Enos and Taft, which I think is starting to become a trend for Rick um, late in the season, is turning to his running game uh, to try to help him win as the weather gets worse uh, up in the north. Uh, Brian's had a really good year, um, lost to Oakland. That doesn't say anything bad about Brian or Detroit. They are a good team, as you can see. They had won four straight before uh, that loss, including beating Seattle, who's a pretty good team. Uh, so based on those results, these two teams were in. And then, of course, San Francisco beat Seattle, which put them into the playoffs. Uh, and... Um, Ford didn't have the best of games, but the fact is, is they were still able to win. And it, I mean, it was really all uh, San Francisco in the first half, and there was all Seattle in the second half. But unfortunately, um, they just weren't able to close the gap. This two-point conversion failure hill probably uh, really doomed them quite a bit. Um, so, but still, really great season for Spoof, uh, who's the Seattle coach, and really good season for Stewart. So that put us into the playoffs uh, where you had um, Philadelphia coming in as the four seed. You had San Francisco coming in as the three seed, which means San Francisco got Detroit. Philadelphia got Minnesota. Um, because I already have the results up, uh, what I would say is... Um, Going into this game, Minnesota was my favorite uh, over Philadelphia just because Minnesota's a better team than Philadelphia at this point. Um, so I expected it to be close. 
Uh, San Francisco versus Detroit, too close to call. Wouldn't call it uh, because I think they're both really good teams. Brian has shown himself in his first season as being a really good coach. Uh, and then, of course, Stewart, anyone who follows SNCFL or this league knows, I think, highly of Stewart. Um, on the AFC side, uh, I don't, again, Baltimore getting past uh, New England twice in a row is a tall order. Kevin's a really good coach. <clears throat> he's progressively gotten better and better every season. I know he's happy about making the playoffs. Uh, Shark is like a shark in waddle in the playoffs. If he spots any blood, he's just going to run, basically run you down and eat you. Uh, and I think that's what's going to happen here. Um, uh, I don't like Jacksonville's chances against the Jets. Um, I know Starfinder has upset people in the first round before he knocked off Oakland like a season or two ago. Uh, but DP has his Jets dialed in, and I don't think Jacksonville has a secondary to compete with the Jets. So definitely think New York's going to make it in, New England's going to make it in. So both AFC East teams will do that, which means that New York will get Pittsburgh, New England will get uh, um, Oakland. And then on the flip side, that means that Carolina will get Minnesota and Detroit will get um, Chicago. So a battle of the NFC North and then two teams that are pretty familiar with each other because they played a few weeks ago. So... If we look at the uh, what really happened, um, Detroit did beat San Francisco. Um, largely, they kept uh, Ford in check, which is no small order. I mean, Ford is a special running back. They kept him over 100 yards. That doesn't happen very often at all. Uh, and then, of course, Rice, who's in his second season, often overlooked out of that quarterback class from two seasons ago. Uh, had a really good game and definitely helped Detroit to make it to the division championship series. Minnesota, like I said, no shock hill. Um, again, Rick used a two-headed running game with Taft and Enos to win it and did a really good job there, so not shock there. Uh, I, this, this score shocks me. I, I didn't expect Kevin to get blanked. I did expect Shark to win it, but I didn't expect... Uh, him to win 34 to nothing and completely dominate. Uh, and he just essentially shut down the passing game. And then there was just not much that um, Baltimore was able to do. But not taking away from Baltimore. They had a really good season this year. So, Kevin, hats off to you. Great year. Um, and then, of course, Stewart, hats off to you. You really came back to get into the playoffs after a really abysmal start. Uh, Skelto had a good year winning the NFC East, um, and we'll see what he does in the draft. Uh, and then, of course, um, Spriggs just went off. Uh, again, Spriggs to me is Dan Marino. Um, he's just a phenomenal uh, quarterback. He just hasn't won a championship. So, um, but definitely went lights out on them and Jacksonville's secondary just can't keep up. I mean, 18 of 28, 408 yards, five touchdowns, one interception. I, I think if I remember correctly in this game, Martin had like two receptions for two touchdowns and 109 yards. I, I mean, that's, that's insane. So, um, so what that lines up for is Detroit versus Chicago. I do think Brian can win this game. They split in the regular season, if I remember correctly. Uh, so with Detroit winning the more recent one. So I, I do like Detroit's chances in this, <coughs> even though the CPU thinks that Chicago's going to win by six. I think that uh, Brian wins this one. Uh, Carolina versus Minnesota. Uh, Carolina six and a half. Um, normally I would say yes, Invisible Witness has been to the championship game two years in a row. Uh, he's got a great team. Rick did beat him two weeks ago or three weeks ago though, in by one point, and it was like a hundred points scored between the two teams. So these two teams know each other, and if anybody's going to beat uh Carolina in the uh NFC race, it's going to be Rick. Uh, so this one's too close for me to call. I don't know who's going to win it. It'll be interesting to see how it plays out. New England versus Oakland. If you remember last season, New England, Shark, he uh, knocked uh, Oakland out. 
Um, so Peter's looking for payback. Um, the difference this year is Reynolds at quarterback, even though this guy's like in his 40s or 50s by now. He's a special quarterback. He holds a lot of the records in the league. Um, so I, I think the difference in this one is going to be Raynal. Um I, I love Shark to death. I think highly of him as a coach. I think he's one of the best coaches. But I, I think New England's not going to beat Oakland this time around. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how it plays out, but I'm going to pick Oakland for this one. It's going to be a close game, probably a lot closer than the spread, uh, five and a half. Uh, Pittsburgh versus New York. Pittsburgh has had New York's number for a long time, and Pittsburgh of all the teams outside of maybe Oakland, maybe Carolina, uh, has the right defense to be able to deal with the New York Jets. Um, so... What I worry about with Pittsburgh is the offense. Um, even if they shut down New York and Spriggs, and for uh, DP, what he probably worries about in this game is even if he wins, Pittsburgh may knock Spriggs out, which has happened quite a few t- times when these two teams play. Because as you uh, may have noticed throughout the season, Pittsburgh is a blitzing team, and they lead the league in sacks. So, and also the second to Oakland in most of the time in most categories where you hit the quarterback. So this one will be close. So I expect uh, the last few times they've met, it's been decided by like a field goal or less. There hasn't been a blowout. So um, too close to call, not going to call it. Uh, Whoever wins this one will play Oakland and that will be a fun matchup to watch. And if you just look at the matchups, uh, what you see immediately is, of course, the number one rated um, offense in the league against the number two rated scoring defense and the seventh ranked overall defense, sixth ranked in passing. And that's going to matter a lot. Pittsburgh's entering this game with relatively few injuries. They have Lackey back. Uh, look for them to try to kind of grind it um, and then try to keep the ball away from Spriggs um, in order to win it. And again, uh, New York's defense is often overlooked. Uh, they're not that great this year, but they can play great. So it'll be fun to watch. So uh, for this round, I, I definitely think Detroit's going to play the winner of Minnesota, Carolina. Oakland's going to play the winner of New York, Pittsburgh, because those games are just too close to call. Uh, but for um, Stewart. Had a great season. It was a shame to see him be bounced out of the playoffs. Skelter, same thing. Uh, definitely Kevin. Uh, I always like when I see the AFC North get represented by more than one team. And then Starfinder had a, another good year. And I think Starfinder, if I remember correctly, has been in the playoffs the last few years. So he's definitely built himself a little bit of a dynasty, though. Yeah, so as you can see, is we are in... Um, 2049 so he's been in the playoffs the last three seasons so definitely great job there star final um so that's it for now uh the division championships run tomorrow at six it'll be interesting to see who wins those games and then of course we'll be in the conference championship on tuesday and then uh the championship game will be on thursday unless i decide to punt it to saturday so i can do a live video um I will say that I do believe that uh, Draft Day Sports 2024 is in development, nearing, uh, it's it's in testing now, I think, if I remember correctly, Uh, which means that as soon as that drops, we will, of course, adopt it. So I may slow, I I may try to figure out when it's going to drop, and then I'm just going to probably try to align the season flip against that. Now, unlike the college game, I can probably allow us to flip and then convert um, because I've done that before. But when it is released, within like a week of its release, we will adopt it within WWPF. Uh, so hope you all having a great weekend. I know I am. Maryland beat the, beat the tar out of Indiana. Uh, so that that's always a good start for Maryland with them being 5-0. and So... Uh, have a great night and hopefully you like this video and if you do or you want me to do other videos let me know and talk to you later.